I am Eric with Mwagada.com and I greet you, beloveds, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. In today's educational video, we're going to be taking a look at a stock that has had a nice run since last October. And the stock that I'm going to use is ASPN. And if you take the move from October of last year, to the current highs you can see the stock has almost done a 5x move so a very desirable move over the last 12 months now by the way 12 months is something that is completely out of the realm of experience for most traders because most traders in this day and age find themselves trading in the day-to-day -day landscape so in theory these types of moves are out of their realm of experience even though this is exactly where you find institutions being able to ride this type of large moves because they are not in a rush to day trade their positions in other words this is also another sign that holding on to a quality breakout makes more sense as opposed to trying to time the stock intraday for a few percentage gains here and there. There is an argument to be made that it is better off to play the breakout game and let the instruments do their thing in months and weeks ahead. At any rate, let's go back to what I wanted to discuss in this video. So we can see here that there was an all time monthly closing high. By the way, this is all data going back to 2014 so all data monthly and you can see that if we take this close here from june of 2014 you see there's a breakout right there sometime in september of last year and that is why the stock is mentioned as a breakout for my paid clients as of september 16th of 2020 and back to the chart again we can see that the breakout met the minimum requirements so we have a closing high there that's what i use for a breakout level and that breakout level price was at 11.05 which is the monthly closing high from the month of june 2014 actually it was a weekly closing high that i used as the pivot or the buy point and of course we're talking about this breakout here and it met the minimum requirements as we can see here the macd's moved to three year highs minimum excuse me the rsi did and now the macd's also confirmed that there was potential here for price movement higher so we're talking about this window here sometime in middle of September where we see RSI at three year highs, MACDs at three year highs. Remember, we only need one of the MACDs to confirm the move to three year highs and the settings are 583 as one setting and the other setting is 13218. All of these numbers, the 583, 13. 21 8 which are the macd settings that i use are fibonacci series numbers the idea here is doing the best to capture as natural over fluctuation and movement in other words using these numbers in my opinion gives you a better understanding of the natural ebb and flows that are within any instrument at any rate, we need only one of the MACDs to confirm the move to three-year highs. Here we have both MACDs. So, met the minimum requirements. And yes, it did take a little bit of a slow move, we can say. You can see the breakout. A little bit of a... And then it started moving. Now, the second breakout that took place this year on the monthly is a thing of beauty. First and foremost, let's make sure that it meets the minimum requirements, and it does, because the RSI is above 69.1. By the way, 
The method is explained in detail via the links in the description of this very video. So the MACDs were at three year highs. But what I want to mention here is to truly understand and utilize the potential of an instrument, when it formed this monthly closing high, it would go on to form a new base. In other words, it reset itself, it gave itself a window to rest and gather itself. This period here happened with the RSI and this is the key. The RSI did not break the 69.1 threshold. And this is what I call the strongest, most bullish type of base formation. So we're talking about this base formation here. Very, very strong because the RSI did not drop below this level on a month to month basis, which means that as it starts building higher again, the energy is so strong that any breakout tends to have this type of a successful accelerated move and over the last couple of months about four months or so five months the stock has doubled in price essentially and it is because of the need to understand the strongest type of base formation is when the you have a sideways gestation period or let's call it rest period while your rsi stays above 69.1 this again is the strongest type of base formation in my opinion which means timing breakouts from these types of setups is the way to go if you are looking for pure momentum as we see here at any rate this concludes today's educational video i am eric with moada.com and i leave you beloveds in the love and in the light of the one prime creator hence go forth rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one creator namaste